This video will cover the basic usage of the sprinkler selector in the Viking Tools for Revit add-in. This can be accessed by going to the Viking tab on the ribbon, then the sprinkler selector icon in the Tools subsection. Once the form opens, you'll be presented with the following view. It is very similar to the website version of the Viking sprinkler selector, with the addition of the load family button as an easy way of inserting a specific part directly in your model. On the left hand side we have our primary filters for searching the available sprinklers. On the right hand side we have the attributes for the currently selected sprinkler which is seen as highlighted in blue in the table below. You can change between sprinklers by clicking them in the table and you'll see the attributes update. You can swap between pages of the data set with the right and left arrows to go backwards and forwards. In the first row uh, in each column, you can also search the fields just via text. So for instance, if I already knew the SIN number of the sprinkler I was interested in, I could just type it in and my result set would start filtering. You can specify a temperature, response type, k factor, etc., and then the result set will filter as needed. To reset your options, hit the reset all filters icon here. The filters can be applied in any order, and multiple filters can be applied at once. So if I was dealing with a FM project, for instance, I could begin by applying the FM approval filter right at the outset, and all other fields will begin updating and limiting the options based on that. So I could choose a light hazard occupancy with a extended covered sprinkler. And I would like to compare the 155 and 175 degree options with a standard brass finish in a pendant orientation. And I would like it to be K 5.6. This has reduced me down to two options, the 155 and 175 degree variant. I've opted to place the 175 degree variant, so I select that and click the Load Family button. This will then load this into my Revit model and queue it up for placement. As an example, I'll just place a couple here. If we were to look at this family and then the attributes we would see that all the attributes are filled in as expected with the approvals k factor occupancies are intended to be used for application type etc we will also pull the uh, annotation from nfpa but this can be changed if you would like if we're to navigate to the type actually load it into a project we will see that the exact part number that we selected was loaded in and available and can be used for scheduling. If we go back to the sprinkler selector, we can note that some information that might be helpful is presented on the front end, uh, specifically minimum and maximum spacing are available uh, for reference, but you can also utilize the datasheet link, which will just bring you directly to the datasheet. You can then navigate to the approval chart for FM and compare the different coverage areas and water supply requirements and design accordingly. You also have the option of visiting the product website directly, which is just the uh, public Viking website with all the information and certificates, etc. I'll reset all the filters. The icon here will toggle open the advanced search options. This has a couple other parameters you can filter by. For instance, you could choose uh, to only show dry sprinklers that are recessed adjustable. And then you could begin filtering from there that you wanted a K11.2 standard spray or extra hazard. And I've already narrowed it down to about eight sprinklers, but I could go and filter by temperature. 
And then potentially finish. Pipe polyester. And now I have two options. One of them is MPT and the other is BSP. You can filter this in the column header just by typing in MPT or alternatively uh, you could just see it in the table and select the appropriate one, then opt to load it into your model. And then it is now here and ready for placement. That concludes the short tutorial video on the Viking Sprinkler Selector.